Hello guys, it's Debbie from Debbie J's Crafting Corner and it is time for another Happy Mail Bag. Hello and welcome to Debbie J's Crafting Corner. I'm Debbie and each week I show you how you can create awesome cards and other crafty projects. Because if I can make it, you can too. So if you'd like to see more tutorials and inspirational videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm going to be doing my little happy mail bag that I started up last month. Um, I'm participating in a couple of different swaps on a couple of different groups. One is the Foiling Snobs Club and the other one is Crafting with Debbie. And I just love what I'm getting um, as from my swap partners. These guys are so, so talented. So I just wanted to share all of that for, with you. So I have been gathering these until I got the last of the cards in for this month's swap and I have not opened up any of the envelopes yet. I'm going to do that with you guys in this video. I did have one person that um, it took a little while for the mail, you know how the mail is right now, that I did not get to share their card um, from last month. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one first. That's Mary Beth Marshall. And so this one was from the Crafting with Debbie group um, from the January hop. The theme for that hop was, I believe we did love because it was going to be getting received in around the time for Valentine's Day. So, oh, this is so pretty. So she did, I think she used her scan and cut for this, and I'm not sure if she, or a Cricut, and it looks like these are drawn on probably with the machine too, and this is just so, so pretty. So she's got some gold foil card in there and she left me a, a quite a long note. I'm going to have to read that in a little bit. So thank you so much, Mary Beth. Thank you for swapping with me, hon. Next, I'm going to go on to the rest of the, well, the ones for the month of February for Crafting with Debbie. I'm starting off with this humongous package that just came in. I don't know what the deal is with the post office, but this one has been sitting out there saying it's going to be here for at least like over a week or so. So let me go ahead and open this up. This one is from Jeannie Ellis. She's also known as Craft... Um, scrapbooking mama and I'll leave a link to her channel down below so that you guys can check it out she is just such a sweet sweet lady and I think she decided to send me something other than just a card oh my goodness look at this so I've got kind of a big package here so let me go ahead and open that up for you guys now the theme for um, the group over in crafting with Debbie for the month of March was doing something either green or St. Patrick's Day theme and looks like that is exactly what she did here okay I hope you enjoy the cards I didn't write on them in case you wanted to use them and I do the same thing I always leave a note inside mine saying that you can use it later oh my goodness this is just so lovely Look at this tag that she made for me and it is a shaker as well you can see this little shaker bits in there oh my goodness and I do recognize this lady this um, this embellishment here is from <clears throat> excuse me is from tailor-made cards for use shop um, it was part of the one lucky day because we just did a design team project for that and uh, that was one of the um, one of the characters that was in that digital kit so oh my goodness this is just so lovely I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it but I love that one that one I am NOT giving that to anybody that is just too precious then she's got this one she's got a lot of glitter this is this one is chipboard that has got green glitter on top. She's got different layers of green glitter paper underneath and a real nice deep embossing folder. Just to emboss the front of that. That's going back in here for now. I don't want to lose any of this. This is just adorable. And then this one I know is also from the tailor-made cards for you, I believe. 
um, one of the designs from there. Taylor My Cards for You basically has a lot of things that are all vintage inspired and they're just lovely. And this one, she looks like she colored, she colored the dress and the shoes and they've got a little bit of a shimmer to them. So it looks like she'd be probably used either Spectrum Noir um, shimmer pen or Wink It Still on that. She did the same thing for the uh, container over here with the plants and top of the morning to you. That is just lovely. Oh my goodness. And then this one, this looks pretty cute. I think she probably did that on the Cricut or another cutting machine, but this one is a shoe and says St. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh my goodness, that is just adorable. Well, I do have to say you outdid yourself, Miss Janie. So thank you so much for all of the goodies. You are just such a sweet person. I really appreciate all of that. This is staying out on my desk. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way and we will go on to the next one. Like I said, this is the first of the cards that I received as part of the Crafting with Debbie Facebook groups. Um, February hop where the theme is green or St. Patrick's Day and Miss Janie did for both. So this one is um, from Denise Hill. That's a good friend of mine that I haven't seen her in quite a while but I've known her for years and years and this is I believe she said her first swap so I thought that was kind of sweet. I'm so excited that she decided to swap with me and let's see what we have. So here is the card, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, Matthew 6, 21. That is sweet. And she did a good job on that. That is a real pretty, Denise. Thank you so much. And she gave me a little goodie as well. Oh, okay, that's nice. Um, she's got a little message inside it too. Three drops of your favorite oil and toss into your linen closet or favorite drawer to help everything smell slightly, lightly scented. Needle, needle felted, so she needle felted that for me. I have never tried doing that. Oh my goodness, that is such a pretty thing. Thank you so much, Denise. So next we have got TR and she she is such a sweet person as well if you can't tell I love my studies <laughs> um, TR does come and show up for pretty much all of my live streams and she is pretty active in our group as well so I do really appreciate all of that and she is just such a sweet person and I'm trying not to cut too much into this because I don't want to accidentally cut the card so let's see what we have here from Miss TR. Okay, so she wanted to make sure that this was very well protected because she's basically folded a manila, one of those manila envelopes in half. So I'll need to cut all the way down the sides as well. just to be able to get to the card. Okay, let's see what we've got. Includes an envelope. And I think I may have seen this on, um, <coughs> seen something similar to this or this exact card in a Facebook post, but she has used some green pattern paper behind it with a yellow pattern paper that she die cut this grid out of. That is just lovely and says, hello, crafty friend. And then of course it's got, it's matted and everything. So you've got a place on the inside. And then, and then she just sent me, a, a, I did a little note saying, happy thanks Patrick's Day. Thank you so much, TR. That is lovely. Okay, and then we've got, now we're on to um, the, Foiling Snobs Club group. This first one is from Renee Baranowski. And I don't recall off the top of my head. Okay, for that group, the theme was Hello and Spring. So let me go ahead and see what we got here from her.
and it does say hello friend so that's on the front that is nice and pretty i like that that um dye that she used for the background that is real pretty thank you so much renee thank you for swapping with me hon um next we've got one from tasha Uh, Tasha Davis, and I can already see because it ripped open that there's some a little glitter inside there, and we all love our glitter. Oh, that is pretty. She's got a lot of layering of the dyes. I think this might be one of the new ones from Ulta New, oh, but that is just just darling. I love that, and she's got the inside matted as well. That also means that it's a fairly substantial card, which that if you know me, I always use my heavyweight card stock for <coughs> my card bases because I like that feel of a substantial card. I don't want it to feel like just a folded piece of paper sometimes because um, I just, that's just me. I like giving something that's a little bit more substantial, but that is very pretty. I like the way that the layering turned down on that. And I think this is gonna make me rethink whether or not to get some of those dies because I've been trying to use what I have. That is just lovely. So thank you so much, Tasha. Next, we've got a card from Cheryl, um, Cheryl McClendon. And on the back, she's got a sticker. This is Happy Bell. I like that. That's actually not a bad idea. I may have to make something like that. I'm trying not to cut the card. Oh, that's so pretty. This one is pretty foil. And then we've got us a foil butterfly. And then she did do a little distressing on this with some ink that matches the ink that she used on the foil. I think the foil is rose gold. That is just lovely. So thank you so much, Cheryl. And then we've got one from Pat Millett. Again, I am trying hard not to destroy the cards inside. That's the hardest part is you know that they're going to be special so you try not to hurt the card as you're trying to get it open oh my goodness that is so cute and the funny thing is i know that my mother-in-law absolutely loves foxes so this is one that i don't know if i'm going to be able to let go of it but if i do she's going to be the one that probably gets the card but that is just adorable just a quick note to say hi how are you and hope you're having a great day and this part is um, it looks like she she foiled that and it's on vellum and then adhered down I think she probably put the adhesive right behind these um, little floor flourishes that is just adorable love it and she left me a little note as well so thank you so much I love that <coughs> So we've got one more to go. This one is from Kathy Sandon. And again, I'm gonna try with this instead of my knife because I don't want to cut the card. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, this one's got a lot of die cutting and such as well. That is pretty. May your day be filled with sunshine. And then it's matted with a shape on the inside for me to write on, but that is just lovely. Oh, this is sweet. I, I love hearing these things. Okay, the note inside, I don't share a lot of them because who knows if they're going to have something more personal. But she put down that this is her first time doing a swap. Um, her husband's working out of state, so she has more time lately to play around. <laughs> and her, her goal this year is to buy less and find more ways to use what she has. Well, that is good, Kathy, because that is exactly what I try to show on my channel. I mean, sometimes we do need to get something new to go along with what we've got to make it easier for us to use what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and show you again real quick all the different um, cards that I've got here from these lovely ladies. 
So I've got a lot of lovely, lovely things here from all these wonderful swap partners. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you swapping with me and I can't wait to see what comes in the mail this month. I will be sharing that with you guys again, uh, probably around this time next month too. So thank you again. Um, if you would like to swap with me, whether it's in one of the groups or not, go ahead and just leave me a note down below and um, maybe your card will be seen on my channel next month. Until um, next time, you guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, and remember, if I can make it, you can too. Thank you, guys. Have a great one.